And many people say that the correction in equities uh, might mean a lot of activity back into the dollar. In fact, some people say we're in the mother of all carry trades. At least one person who says that is this celebrated economist, otherwise known as Dr. Doom, Noriel Rubini. He spoke to our colleagues in the United States, and Dr. Rubini warned of the risks ahead of a sliding dollar, and the subsequent wall of liquidity is chasing assets all around the world. The risk is, however, that right now people are borrowing at 0% interest rates in the United States. Effectively, the rate of borrowing is negative because with the dollar falling, you have a capital gain. You're buying any asset around the world. All these assets are perfectly correlated. Eventually, the dollar cannot keep on falling. Once the dollar stops falling, it reverses. You could have a sudden reverse of the dollar. You have to close your shorts. You have to dump assets. And you could have a market crash yeah. all over the world. Okay, this is absolutely the elephant of the room in global finance right now between now and the end of the year without question. Jeff Kendrick is a senior currency strategist at UBS, and Roger Knight Miguel is still here. I want to parse through this as, as, as delicately as we possibly can. There's an expectation that an equity market correction is going to lead into big buybacks big short covering into the U.S. dollar. That's going to have implications for pretty much any other asset you can point to right now. How big a risk is this out there that's overhanging right now? Well, definitely as we get close to year end, what's quite likely is that given equities were down, what, 20, 30 percent going into March this year, and then they've been up about 60 percent, it's quite likely volatility will start picking up soon. People are already talking about that for December, and so that's why potentially today we've seen equities a bit softer and the dollar a bit stronger. Um, it's interesting, depending on which part of the business you work in depends on, uh, depends on who you blame. So because I work in FX, I say if equities fall, euro dollar goes down. <laughs> this morning I was talking to my equity colleagues and they said, well, please tell us what euro dollar is going to do and then we can work out what equity is going to do. <laughs> so it's clearly quite circular just now. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense, the correlations there. Um, last week it looked like FX was leading for a change and, and obviously today equities are off, so, so euro dollar back down to 149-ish just now. So. Roger? Yes, I'm not sure I follow all this. Um, um, as far as I see, there's money in the system, too much money in the system possibly, but money in the system driving most assets up in yeah. price. They are doing that. They have been doing that. They're going to continue to do that. Every now and again you get a correction. Currency is just one against the other. I mean, it seems to me it's, it's it very much a zero-sum game. Um, dollar's gone down for a long time. It's having a bounce. I don't think there's anything particularly significant about that. I don't think there's anything in the economics which is particularly significant as far as the um, dollar about is concerned. Um, the, I, 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 I mean, I, I have an open mind about this. I'm just saying I don't know. Yeah. yeah the uh, the main reason for the relationship between euro dollar and stocks, as we've seen since March lows this year, is essentially because as assets do slightly better, investors move out the risk curve. So, so you start out as in local cash, then you go to local bonds, then local equities, and then offshore equities. And because the weight of size is dollar-based assets. Therefore, U.S. investors are sending cash offshore, and so as equities go up globally, the dollar sells off. And that's been the main driver in the last few What's years. What's the high B to play here? If I think this is going to happen, do I want to play it in euro dollar, or do I want to play it in something else that's going to give me, to excuse the phrase, even more bang for my buck? Yeah, I mean, clearly the highest beta would be EM currencies, like Brazil. Yeah. Um, but the most liquid high beta is probably Aussie. Um, you've seen Aussie have a huge run this year. Right. Uh, we've, con we've touched 93 just last week. The RBA is priced for a lot of, the, of very good news, another 100 basis points over the next three meetings. If equities pair back, not only will Aussie come off on the growth trade, but probably the RBA will do slightly less as well. So. Search for yield. On 90-day paper, you pick up 384 basis points going from dollar to Aussie dollar. No, no risk whatsoever. That's the carry. That's exactly. That's the carry. Jeff, thanks for your time. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Jeff Kendrick, Senior Strategist in Currencies at UBS. Roger's going to stay with us.